Oh. Okay. Let's do some shit real quick. Time for a sound check. Here is the sound check. Mm. game is super loud, but, I mean, I sound fine. Um, I'm gonna lower it down to about there. How's that? That sounds good to me. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. This is Rootin'. It's basically... It's a really slow-paced game. To me... I don't know too much about this game. This is a horror game. Be ready for spooks. Be ready for scares. Um... From what I've seen... This game is very similar to Darkwood. Um, this game gave me like Darkwood crossed with like, oh, Don't Starve. It's like Darkwood crossed with Don't Starve. That's the vibe I got from this. So I don't know much about it other than it's a scary game. You're in the woods and it's really slow paced. It's also 900 megabytes. You could play this on a PS2. Just throwing that out there. So it's a small game, real easy. I got this on the spring sale. Oh God, I think it was like two to five dollars. It really wasn't anything at all. So, give me a moment. I am going to message Discord. Shut the fuck up. You glorgle my borgle until you choke on it. Damn straight, son. Live now. All right, I guess. Attention, starting a new game will end the current cycle forever. Um, well, I haven't started one, so sure. Hi, I have work for you. We have a research station at a remote frontier. In word, in a word, Katie is on duty there now. I mean, Katrin. She is, uh, mycelologist and she found some kind of mushrooms again. Could you fly and bring me a sample? They haven't been, they haven't a very good lab there. 
ask about the mushrooms. Some type of endemic species again. It's often found there. There's nothing special about these mushrooms, but I want to get a better look. The station. Do you remember the farthest station in the forest? I mean this station. We cannot obtain funding for it, and it's a pity. It's interesting and adorable there, and such fre such a fresh air. I wish I could go, but I can't. Yes. Good. You need to relax. There's no connection and roads for a hundred miles there. A helicopter flies there every week and brings your food. Your trip will last a week. Why the helicopter once a week? That's because the helicopter has to be fueled. Flying less often is cheaper. At this rate, they'll, they will soon be out of touch with the world for two weeks at a time. By the way, in addition to the mushrooms, I ask you to write reports every day. I need your perspective. Because it seems that the station is nothing but a loss. Check it out, take a look, and describe. There's no funding, and it's a pity to close it. Promise to write reports. Alright, I guess. No control yet. Well, it looks like a video game. I don't know if it flashed with the devs, but um, this game was made by... Oh, motherfucker. Give me a second. Samustai LTD. So. You look around, the station welcomes you with silence, diluted by only by the sounds of the forest. None of the people come out to meet you, although the helicopter can be heard from afar. You decide to look for them in the houses or around the station. Cool. A very rough map of the immediate surroundings. Cool. Makes sense to me. Doors unlocked. The house is empty, but looks cozy and friendly. How friendly. How cozy. No one is in the house. It is empty. Um. Okay. Nobody opened the door. This house is empty, too. So far, I don't really care for the writing. I don't like how they just tell you. Houses were left by people. It's empty, dark, and quiet inside. As if there's anybody, there's nobody for miles and miles. Only forest. There is a good chance these guys are not native English speakers, so I don't want to be too rude about the writing. That is definitely the vibe I got from this. A dead dog. The dog lived with people at the station. It has been lying here for a while. Examine. A lot of clotted blood. The dog was killed by a predator. You see, it was partially skinned off. However, there was no trace left on the ground around. Alright. I really liked that effect there. When I walked up to it, the screen was flickering real hard. I like that. That was really good simulated fear. I wonder if there's like a sanity system.
please. I don't like how you could be walking and then you just stop walking out of nowhere. That's happened to me twice now. I don't quite care for it. I'm also not a big fan of how these trees are laid out. This is like really shitty Paper Mario like layering. Sheets of paper have been lying here for a while. They got damp. One of them had an one of them had inscription, but the text was damaged because ink flowed. Try to read. Only a few phrases can be made out with difficulty. I dug everywhere result and it seems everywhere write something on the blank piece of paper there's no one here people disappeared am I alone I hope someone lives here and reads this I decide to explore the surroundings and try to find people okay Someone dug three shallow pits there. The mushrooms spouted, sprouted from these pits. Uh, the mushrooms sprouted from the pits were strange and unpleasant. At least it looks like mushrooms. Inspect the pits. You, you can see shovel, the shovel marks. The pits were dug by someone from the station. At the bottom of each pit, there are strange pale formations. Mycelium, maybe. It was an un it was underground until it was disturbed. Very very basic writing. Very much tell not show and I am a slightly bit annoyed about that. This disgusting leathery sack lay on the rotting sleeves. <coughs> it is swollen from the fluid that fills it and pulsates slightly. Unpleasant odor permeates the air around. Examine. Sprouts go into the litter from under the leaves and penetrate the entire embankment. Th through the tightly stretched film on the side of the sack, you can see some large and dark object floating inside. The sack is braided with roots. Pale sprouts of roots connect it to the ground. They ripple slowly in time with each other. Okay, well that's cool. Can I get up there? I won't pop it! I guess not. Well, there's the map again. That's cool. What an interesting bit of forest. So far, this doesn't feel like a bad game. It just feels like it needs a little bit of work. Oh, I can't go over that. That's dumb. Oh, is this like a maze? Are you kidding me? Now, that's not cool. This is the second such object in the forest. What is it? Mushroom? Plant? Or strangely bloated corpse of some animal? It 
It's very basic, but I like the writing so far. Very cool. Oh, that's just a fast travel. That's really nice. You could enter the house right now and take a break from your wandering. The day will be over. Uh, move away. Er, nah, I'll enter. You will miss a lot if you do this. On the other hand, on the other side of the door is comfort, tranquility, and safety. Yes. The day is over. It is nighttime now. Let me in. Day one report. Right about the absence of people. As soon as I disembarked, I saw that no one met me. Although the helicopter can be heard from afar, so there are p no people at the station. There should be five people on this shift. I didn't find anyone. I really hope they went somewhere on an expedition, for example. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Right about the houses. I looked at all the houses and there was no one inside either. I was alarmed that the houses seemed abandoned. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like they weren't gone from there yesterday. The houses had been empty for a long time. Right about the emptiness. Yes, that's right. It's empty. Emptiness has its own smell. It, ha it comes from a place where there used to be something, and now there is nothing. You can always smell emptiness if you know what it smells like. However, I will return to the description of today's events. The dead dog. What worries me almost as much as the lack of people is the scary find near the station. I found a dead and decomposing dog at the station. I don't want to think about it, but it looks like someone killed it. Examination. It's still hard for me to see corpses, even if they are just animals. But something made me take a closer look at the dog. The examination gave me nothing new, but confirmed my fears. Some kind of animal had killed it. I don't want to see this animal because I don't have a weapon, and there are no people to help. It's a strange forest. There is something wrong with it. Of course, I'm not an expert and seem a little jittery for obvious reasons, but there's something here that shouldn't be. Pulsating cocoons. What clearly shouldn't be anywhere is those nasty pulsating sacks I found in the woods. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to know. I can't help thinking that it looks like some kind of living cocoons. Not far from the station, I found an awning. Someone's notes were lying there. I don't know why, but I also wrote something on a piece of paper. Tomorrow, I have to remember to go back there. Strange mushrooms. I think I figured out what mushrooms I was sent here for. They're weird, especially their mycelium. You can't see a normal mycelium, but this looks more like the roots. If they're mushrooms at all, of course. Tomorrow, I will continue to look around. If people are in trouble or worse, I have to find them. But I'm not sure that looking for something in these places is a good idea. Panic attack. Fresh air and nature. Hmm. It's great that this nature brought back my panic attacks. 
This trip was supposed to be relaxing, but it didn't work. That's how my first day went. I hope the second day will be more enjoyable. It's dawning. I won't sleep, and I won't fall asleep. Howdy, neighbor. Are you awake? Can I borrow some salt? I'm all out of salt, so I thought I'd come ask you for some. So could you give me some salt? Who are you? My name is Igor. I'm a local forester. A lot of people come here on shifts and I live here. I like it here. I look after the animals, put rings on the pheasants for identification, and put pointers so that stupid strangers don't get lost. I don't have salt. No? Of course not. Then I'll have to look for it myself. You're not going to help me. I'll do it myself. Do you think I could at least find salt without you? Yeah. Good! Glad that you support me! Although, of course, it would be better to get, give salt that nod. <laughs> no, if you look, I just don't know why I need salt. <laughs> Where is everyone? Nobody's missing! What are you going to go from here? Dima, Katie, Alex, you and me. We're all here in the woods. Do you think I'm lying? Maybe it's you who can't to look for, who can't to look for the people, huh? Maybe it's you who can't to look for the people, huh? You say you haven't found anyone. Have you looked in the hollows of trees? Have you looked under the roots? Have you looked in the fallen leaves? You have to know where to look. In the woods, where else? It's hard to find our guys if you know where to look. But they're of no use to you. They'll find you if they want to. But Kate is hiding somewhere. She's embarrassed to go out. Maybe she's shy about you. Our Kate has been acting strangely lately. Our foster mother. Is that Tuzik dead? You're talking nonsense, neighbor. He's resting. I knew Tuzik as a puppy. It used to be a frisky, but now it likes to lie down. Don't worry about it. It'll outlive you. I'm going to my place now. You can come if you want. And if you're not too squa squamish about my company, you can come only in the morning. I plan to go for a walk in the woods at the afternoon. Maybe we'll meet, though. I don't like the writing. I can't. I can't go into the house. The house is no longer there. My home is no longer there. I can't. Hunger. Hunger will grow, but it will give us what we need. When the time comes, if we don't need the gifts, it will fix us, and we will need them. I can't go into the house. Look who's here! To what do I owe the honor? What it is. Oh, so you like to eavesdrop, do you? What I mutter is none of your business. You think I don't know why you're here? You won't change anything. It's always been here. You keep your nose out of it, neighbor. And why are you here, in his opinion? To decide where things will go from here. People will come everywhere to decide, but no one gives a damn about your decisions. Man, you're an asshole. I'm supposed to check those notes, but I don't remember where they are. Uh, 
A strange, unnaturally distorted corpse of a dog. You can smell the decomposition. See the bones sticking out. It's swollen. Body is braided with the pale sprouts that reach out from the ground. The animal is dead. Definitely dead. But it only moved, and you saw it. Touch. I don't want to touch this. I want to be away from this. I want to be away from this damn place. Touch. You touch the ugly mascara with disgust. It feels wet. You hope it's from the rain. And warm to touch. You think you feek a faint pulsation. And you pull your hand away. The corpse in front of you is still motionless. Except for the fries. The fries. Fries! Flies crawling in its wounds. Alright, fine, Salty. God damn shit, dude. Fuck, damn, dude. Alright. Slash V I P T Salty seventy. Unable to add VIP. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I don't have it, Salty. Sorry. The same sheets of paper on the table which you wrote a few words yesterday. Now there's another entry. Hello, mysterious stranger. I'm so glad you're here. You shouldn't think you're the only one here. You've probably already convinced yourself that it's not true. It can o be lonely in our woods, and I'm glad to have you with us now. What will you write? I didn't expect to get an answer. A man came in this morning. His name was Igor. There's something wrong with him. Tell me, do you know what's wrong with him and where the others are? Interesting. I like that concept a lot. That is pretty cool. I like the idea of every day writing back and forth to someone. On the same slip of paper, too. Yo, what's this? Oh, those are birds. Ooh. I heard some spooky stuff over there. There's something lurking in the thicket. You don't know what it is. You feel its presence. You feel it waiting for you. But it's not time yet. Okay. Do those trees have eyes? Those trees definitely had eyes. Yo, also, I'm gonna play until I die, and if I die, I'm gonna change games. The strange twisted tree resembles a human figure. 
the similarities are too great to be a mere whim of nature or your imagination. Cool. Cool tree. So cool. So cool, dude. So cool. That's pretty cool, dude. Uh, so cool, dude. So cool. So cool. Seems one of the leathery sacks you've seen before. Um, however, this one is torn. Come in! My roommate's making me a pork chop. It seems to be one of those leathery sacks you've seen before. However, this one is torn. You can't hear the throbbing and the liquid has sp spilled out onto the foliage. What you see before you resembles an empty and dead shell that has already begun to rot. The smell of decomposition and the sight of insects crawling around makes you sick. You know what? Real shit? This game would make a badass D&D &D, like Call of Cthulhu game. This would be the tits it's if, if it was tabletop. Shut up, Tony. Fuck, dude. Dude. What's your deal? Oh, come here, buddy. I love you. I love you, Tony boy. Yo, is that a skinwalker? A strange, elongated, and curved ribs go into the ground. The vertebrae seems to be fused together. This is a skeleton of a deer, but now it looks like a plant. Hell yeah. That thing looks awesome. It's got like glowing eyes and shit. Well, that was cool. I like that trick. It was a little dumb, but interesting. Nice house. It says... Those who came from the outside didn't know about the depths. The forest didn't notice them, but they sensed a catch. <clears throat> the wooden structure barely holds upright. It appears to be a bridge that allows quick passage from the station to part of this forest. It is unclear who raised it and why. Well, there we go. Hello, Tony boy.
map. <clears throat> cool, cool. Is there anything over here? Nope. I can't really tell if I like the art style or not. I can appreciate the minimalist, you know, style of it. It's not bad. It's not a bad art style. I just don't know if it's my cup of tea or not. Well, cool. Well, we have seen things, so I guess time for typewriter. Come in! Damn, that poor chop was fucking quick. That's a fine pork chop there, Rumi. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take a pork chop break. I don't eat a lot of pork chops, but I love them. Damn, that is really good. I kind of wish this was in a sandwich. Like, I kind of want to put this on a grilled cheese. Mmm. That was really good. Super tangy. I'm gonna go take this downstairs. I'll be back.
Very sorry about that. I am back. Cool. Well, time to go type on the typewriter. Enter the house. Enter the house. I am in the house. Day two, a report. I don't remember how I got into the house. I was in the woods. Why am I here? Problems with my foot? It's been very wet since this morning. The pain in my leg came back. That's too bad now that now I can't to move fastly and even if I want. What the fuck? That's too bad, because now I can't to move fastly even if I want to. A man came in this morning. He introduced himself as a station worker. But there was something wrong with him. He doesn't seem right. Yesterday, I wanted to find people, and today I found one of them. But I'm not happy about it. Circle of Flowers. Today, the forest saw me. I know. It draws me with its flowers. But they're not flowers. What does it want from me? Does it want to lock me in its porous walls? I managed to get away this time, but maybe they let me go. I have more to spend here. How long? Five days? I'm not sure I can last that long. This place, it absorbs. I'm afraid of dissolving into it. Um, dog. I didn't want to touch that. It's disgusting. Why did I do that? What is happening to me? My hand just reached out and touched this abomination. It was like I was just r watching from the sidelines. Something behind the bushes. There's something there. Something behind the overgrown bushes. I saw something big crawl in there. Did it see me? I need to stay away from that place, but I can't. Correspondence. I wrote a few words on a piece of paper in the woods yesterday. I got an answer today. Do I keep writing? And who answered me? I have to get out of here. I read that there was a radio station near the houses. It's been out of use for a long time. What if I could revive it and give a distress signal? Oh. Did you see my wife? I can't find her. She's not here. I haven't seen her. Really? Okay. Let's say. I wonder... I wonder where she is this time. Who is she? Oh, you don't remember? My name is Dima. I'm biologist and Kate's husband. I've been looking for her since dawn. Thought maybe... Never mind. You see, I can't tell what's a mystery and what's, you know, a grammar issue. What's going on here? In the woods, our voices rang out amongst the millions who were already here. And now we're part and parcel of the cycle. We only know what we've been given. And you know nothing. It's so funny. What the fuck? What does that mean? I can barely read this as it is! I don't understand! What's the cycle? The cycle was always the same. Absorption, conception, and birth of the new without end or purpose. 
but you are affected by what you absorb. This is the law and has always been the law. First came my wife's voice, then everyone else's. It changed the cycle, the voices brought the alarm. The voices told of a forest of lights. What happened? Oh, it's a good question. Everything was fine before you showed up. I realized that's not what you're asking. There was only a forest before you came. Get out? I've never thought about it. It's strange you should think about it. Maybe that's your role in this cycle. Tell him that you will find his wife. That's generous of you. We'll look together. Goodbye. I can smell her. I can smell her near you. I couldn't smell her outside the door, but now I can. I definitely didn't see her. Really? Okay, let's pretend I believe you. I'm hungry. It will soon be time to eat. She better be back by then. R radio station. Yes, people used to take on everything with enthusiasm. These houses, radio station. They did it, but they did couldn't maintain it. There was a radio station behind the swamp, but it was a long time ago. You don't hope to find anything there. Strings! You can feel them, can't you? Do you feel like you're just a puppet suspended on strings? Yeah, man. I do. I fucking feel that. Do you feel that you don't belong to yourself? Yeah, man. Every fucking day of my life, I wake up, and I scrape myself out of bed, and I look in the mirror, and I see a shallow husk of what I used to be. It feels like yesterday I was happy, and... Well, Lord knows it's not true. Yesterday will happen four, five, six, seven years ago. I don't even remember anymore. I never was myself. Not for a long time, pal. Oh, it's a beautiful feeling to know that you're part of something bigger. I don't know what you have against it. I'm going to follow you. Oh, that's just a hole. I can see right through you, man. Where is your lung? I'm sure this would make more sense if I spoke Russian and was doing the Russian translation. Just yesterday, just like yesterday, under your entry, you see a new one. Hello, my pen friend. I'm so glad you've already met my boys. Don't be afraid of them. Trust my feminine gut. They may be rude, but they won't get into a fight. Unless they're hungry. Haha. <laughs> what exactly will you write? Um, I don't need consent to leave the forest. Why is the forest changing? It's good to have you, even if it's just notes. I know that someone here treats me well. That helps. This forest is different every day. Every day I feel worse here. Why is this happening? Help me. What the fuck? 
Alright, I can understand why I stopped walking. I, I don't know why it's happening, but the game thinks whenever I click left stick, I want to hold that in and push in the direction to walk. I have to click in the stick and hold in that direction if I want to continue walking. If, you know, that bug happens. Um... Despite the unpleasant shape, it seems edible to you. It beckons you to try it. But you know that if you take one bite, you won't be able to stop until you've even eaten it all. You eat. The strength comes back with every bite, but something disappears irre irrevocably. Yummy. Tasty mushroom. Mushroom. Hey, man. You're cool. Still no weapon. Map. I guess I will try to go as south as possible. Move away. They say the radio station is south, so we're gonna go south. Oh. Well, that was cool. Neat trick there, friend. Do it again. Do it again. Ah, you're a bummer. So cool. So cool, so cool. You're so cool. So cool, dude. map I am right there ooh getting closer south that's good now we're going this way oh look at that that's a hole Oh, just a big asshole. Oh, hey, man! Hi, neighbor. I see you haven't found a work for yourself. Idle. I decide to get busy. I fix the bridge behind the birches because if you do nothing, the hunger grows. But it's not time. It's not time. 
It's not time for what? Satisfy hunger, devour, transform, and be transformed. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I'm waiting to do what I'm here to do. Um, maybe that's my purpose. I know my purpose, but I guess you don't know your. That's the difference between us. Radio station. Yes, there was a radio station. Only it belonged to Forrest a long time ago. People don't go there. There's nothing for people to do there. But if you can go, if you want... I had just fixed the bridge and the station was somewhere in the swamp. And it would be nice if you could wring your neck and stop wandering around there. That is just a big ass hole. That's cool though. So cool. Hello, fruit. The forest offers you a gift. The sweet aroma made your mouth, made your moth fill with saliva. The gift is alive, throbbing, and begs to be eaten. I absorbed the gift. You absorb the gift and you feel that a little bit of what was taken from you is now returned. But now your voice is more difficult to distinguish from others belonging to the forest. Hell yeah. The Ohio friend worm is in me. It says, into the depths came the voices and the cycles began. Endless cycles of birth and death. <laughs> a very rough map of the immediate surroundings you remember the road from here back to the station and if you want you can easily return there no I am eating the fruit and becoming the woods. Why won't my family welcome me? You're almost cer sure that you recently saw this figure elsewhere. Moreover, these footprints that follow it. Is this tree really capable of moving on its own? I hope so. That'd be so cool. Big trees. Oh, hello, friend. Cool dude. Ooh, an axe. An old rusty hat hatchet for chopping firewood. You finally found something to defend yourself with. You shouldn't seriously rely on this thing, but you'll be safer with it. Cool. Move away. Can I like? Oh, can I? Yeah, get fucked. Idiot.
Alright, no radio station this time. Return to station. Anything down here this time? Any, any secrets and goodies? I want to take the yummy mushrooms outside of the forest. You could enter. Yes. Enter the house. Day three, a report. I can't even remember how I got into this house again. It seems... I can't seem to remember a lot of things. Something is happening. I couldn't find the radio station. I need to keep going if I stop. I start thinking too much. I need to keep looking. There's nothing else to do. Changes. I can feel its roots. They're rooting right in my head. I'm sprouting. Dissolving. The roots go down into darkness. This is the forest. It's always been there. But I know it has seen me. And touched me. Guests come from the woods. They seem to be the missing people I've been looking for. Are they still human? That trash inside them has soaked them right through. They don't like me, but so far they haven't tried to attack me. So far. It'll be dawn soon. I wonder who will show up this time. Eaten heart. I get it. It all started with the gifts of the forest. Today I tasted one of them. I ate it all up. When you take a gift, you start to hear the forest, and it begins to hear you. That's how it was. That's how the forest heard of her when she accepted the gift. Correspondence with the strangers. She responded to my letter again. Today's guest, Dimitri, said she was looking for his wife. Could she be the one writing to me? Then why do I get the feeling that we have known each other for a long time? Could it be... No, there are a lot of strange things going on here, but that's impossible. I hear the call of the forest, a million voices, countless cycles. They're all here. Some voices speak to me. They call me there, beyond the wall of bushes. Maybe there's something tasty there. Oh. Ooh, I don't like you. The cycle is about to end. We need to get ready. Join us. This is Alexander, the leader of the pack. The leader orders to search with them. He doesn't look like a human being. What is the pack looking for? A gift. There are gifts ripening in the forest, especially for us to continue our cycle. A special gift. The pack is looking for it. What is the cycle? You don't know? Listen. First, the birth of several different seedlings from the root. The absorption sprouts to learn from each other, merging to rebreed a single, more perfect root. That's the way it's always been. He doesn't look human. There is no ne more need to be like a human being. There is no need to at this point. The pack must seek. This is the stage of the cycle. A man searches badly, so there is no need to be a man anymore. Join us. Seek. I will seek. Right. You're part of the pack now. Find our gift. Tell us. We're looking too. I am going to become a mushroom man. I want to be part of the cycle. Yo! 
Neighbor, gift, to eat without salt. You bring the salt tomorrow, okay? Go away! I forgot! What is I? What is it? So hard to understand. Nothing. I'll show you. Eat tomorrow, finally. The forest offers you a gift. Yes. The gift. The gift. Mmm. Where did our other friends go? I want to talk to them too. Hey man. Cycle seems to be important. Thoughts drift away. Thoughts are no longer needed. Need to eat. Katie, is that you? Oh, you're not her. Go away. I don't want to see you. We'll be with her, not you. When the sprouts become one root again. Look with the pack or stay out of the way. No more talking is necessary. This part of the cycle is not for talks. Seek the gift or stay out of the way. You have received an answer from a mysterious stranger. Today her handwriting is different than usual. She was writing with a trembling hand. The uneven letters dancing back and forth, but you can read. My dear friend, today you and I will be able to see each other. Come to the bushes where the bushes used to be. Maybe I can do something to comfort you. Finally, we can have a real conversation. What will you write? The pack. The pack is looking. I can feel them. I feel like I should be looking too. It's inside me. I don't know where I am and where it is anymore. I feel their hunger, but I don't feel my own hunger. A gift for them. Maybe if I find it, they won't touch me. Look at that. Scary. Alright. On paper, this game is fucking awesome. I love the story. I love the lore. The forest offers you a gift. Yes. Yummy, tasty gift. I want to feel her embrace. Bushes were over here, right? I just fucking ripped some serious ass there. Damn. Hello. The dead corpse of a the corpse of a dead bear is braided with the same pale sprouts. Mushrooms and roots grow out of the carcass. It's quite strange, but you don't see them tearing through the skin or attaching to it in any way, as if they grow out of it in out of it and extension of it. Look closer. You look into the darkness of the empty eye sockets, breathing in a small the smell of decay. It's been sitting here for a long time. 
It's been sitting and rotting, but something keeps restoring it, keeping it from becoming humus. Despite how it looks, there is very little of, bear, of the bear left in it. It's part of the forest. A gift. Yes. I need it. This is the gift of the forest. She loves me and she loves you too. Hello. Hi, this must not be how you imagined our meeting. That's why I was hiding. I was afraid to show myself to you. I look really ugly now. It's after childbirth. Why are you looking at me like that? Say something. Was she the one who left the notes? Yes, that's me. I was so glad you finally came that I had some someone to talk to at least. Thank you for that. Of course it's me. At least, in part. I wish we had met at the beginning of the cycle when I was younger. But everything goes as the forest decides. Who am I to argue? That's m my lot as a woman. Does she know anything about the pack? Ah, uh, my boys. So you've already seen them. They must be getting pretty big now, huh? I wish I could go and see them myself. What mother doesn't want her to see her own children? What's going on? The endless cycle before us, as if in a dream. Then the force took me, and the others too. Now we too. You know, I used to be in plays. What's happening here is like that. We have parts, but the play itself begs the question. Whoever is putting on the play is looking for the answer. I don't know the question or the answer. Maybe finding the answers is your role. Uh, who are they? We are offshoots of the same root. Part of something bigger than us. Aren't people like that? Do they understand what purpose their actions serve? Can you understand everything? We are only parts of a whole. The forest gives us voices and purposes. It tells us what we must think, what we must do, what we must know. These are the same things people are told by their forest. You're a mother? Yes, they're all my babies. The eldest, Igor. Then I gave birth to my husband, Dima and my youngest, Alexander. He always liked the boss around. He's probably hatching and leading them now. You're not like them, are you? Oh, no, no. You came from a different place. The forest doesn't tell me from where and why. I guess I'm not supposed to know. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And it's too late for me to get out, you see. But you're sure to succeed. I have faith. Where's the radio station? Yes, I remember it. I used to go there a lot. Now I really can't go there anymore. There's something wrong with my legs. I'll ask the forest for you. It will let you go through if I ask it to, so go tomorrow. Just be careful out there. It's a swamp. You never know what's out there. Are you okay? Yes, I think yes. You have to go, don't you? It's okay. Don't worry about it. I get tired so fast now. I want to get some sleep, and when I wake up, maybe I'll feel better. Don't worry. You have an important case, and I'll be fine. How can you help? I think the best thing is to play your part. If you do it right, everyone will be fine. I'm sure of it. I think I still have some things left to do, so... It's going to be, it's going to just as, be just as it's supposed to be. Now, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I need a nap. 
Goodbye, friend. A gift. Oh. I am accepting the forest. Alright, I'm gonna have to play this game twice. I'm assuming day five is the end. Oh, the bear's gone. That's concerning. That is very concerning. I heard him. I wonder if he's just going to be around. Oh, that's creepy as hell. Get fucked! That looks fucking awesome. Move away. Overnight, two skulls grew on the skeleton. You can't reach them, but the other bones fused and intertwined as if begging you to touch them. Touch. I think I hear you in my head. Why are you doing this? I mean, I don't, I know I don't want to do this, but then where are these thoughts coming from? They're not mine. I can hear you. Touch. The, bo the bones feel like wood. You can feel how the forest has replaced them with itself. Your thought flows down under the bedding of the fallen leaves to the roots, to the darkness. Down there, you feel, you touch something. You feel the time. The abyss of time. The ocean of memory. You feel that you, too, are there. And pull your hand away from the bones. Hell yeah. Fuck yourself. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the heck is even that? <laughs> Daddy, chill. You're not gonna let me in, are you? I wonder if I can find that dead dog again. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there it is. Life returns, sprouts again. A dog's corpse, once sown, has sprouted. You don't know what will come of it, and it's not time to harvest it yet. Amen. I hear something, but I don't quite see it. Is that me? Yeah. Kind of looks like it. I'll admit I am enthralled in this story. Man, if this game had some like genuine quality put into it, it'd be fucking awesome. Alright, well that's most things that matter. Um, next day I will push for the radio tower and maybe do something. I will enter the house. Day four, a report. My hopes of getting out of here are fading, melting like snow and sunlight. Uh, but I know, if I stop, if I give in to despair, I'll be dead for sure. A woman in the thicket. I saw a woman like everyone else I met before she is distorted. An ugly and grotesque image. I done it. <laughs> want to think that something like that might be waiting for me too. I found the strength to approach the creature, to talk to it. It's Katie, and she was the one who wrote those notes. The notes that give some hope that there was someone untouched in the woods by the contamination. Maybe it's time to stop getting my hopes up. Someone else's thoughts. Sprouts in my head makes me do things I don't want to do but it is only there now 
or has it always been there? What of the things I've done are done by me, and am I really there? There is a forest of lights outside. That's where I need to go. I have to. I must go to the swamp. Must move. If I stop, my feet will become roots and mold will fill my lungs. I must leave this place. That's my wish, isn't it? The pack. Those who came to me, my guests, they are not people. I knew it before, but they say there is no need to pretend anymore. They say they are looking for some kind of gift. I don't know what it is. I don't know what will happen if they don't find what they're looking for. Dog. Good doggy. It's very much alive now. It's got something inside of it. What will it be? Puppies? I'd like it to be puppies. Everything here is so ugly. Something beautiful would give me strength. A new day. A new day. I can already see the dawn. I haven't slept again, but for some reason I don't feel like it. My thoughts are confused, but it is not fatigued. I have to. I just need some fresh air. It is time for fresh air. Oh. The table lies, on the table lies what was once a woman. In that awful moment, you finally realize the guests from the forest, what, what they were looking for. The disgusting meal is in full swing, but the worst part of it is that you think the woman on the table might still be alive. I'll try a bite. No! Where did that even come from? Please, I don't want to! Just one. With a trembling hand, you take a piece of flesh. It's so easily separated from the body. You put the piece in your mouth. You feel that you might receive something as a gift from this woman. But that gift isn't for you. You still don't know why you're here. Another gift. Where's that dog at? Oh! Fuck you. Perhaps you have already thought about ceasing to exist? Well, the forest is capable of many miracles. You imagine your dead body sprouting, swelling, changing, and becoming a vessel, vessel for new life. Will you feel what is happening to you? What is that dog experiencing right now? What's inside there? <laughs> Yummy. We don't want to harm the vessel. It still looks pure. <laughs> Yo! Yo, what the fuck? Oh. <gasps> Yummy! And another? I need more gifts. These are the will of the forest.
Yeah, fuck that. I'm following the fairies here. So cool. I'm a fucking champion with this axe. A gift. Damn, I really tried for that. I might look up a walkthrough. Nah. Already went from there. I guess hug the left wall and see what happens. These are the swamps. A plexus of roots and branches, reminiscent of a human figure. For some reason, it seems to you that this plant is trying to portray a woman. What if I hit it? You can't. What the fuck?
I'll admit, the art is creepy. You know what? I do like the art style. I wasn't sure about it, but I do. Please, please grant me this. I need it! I want it. I need to embrace her love, please. Oh, thank you. There's a gift over there. I want it. Yes. How beautiful the gift is. happening here there is a lot happening right there oh there's shadow shadow man I would like a map You know, I would like a map. A gift? For me? The unworthy? The forest offers you a gift, sweet aroma. Yes. There's a map. Oh. Move away. We found it. That's really cool, actually. There's no doubt this tree is able to move. It goes somewhere, slowly and steadily. You wonder where its path will end. Oh, 
Oh, here's the radio station. The note has been left here for some time, but a thick paper and good ink will still stand t up to time. You read it. Not coming today. I don't feel well after that discovery. Besides, he seems to suspect us. You don't come yet either. You can see the radio station building, the place where you had pinned your last hopes. It greets you with emptiness. The rusty tower still stands and will stand for a long time. But there's nothing here but it. All the equipment that used to be here has long since been taken away. You're not even left with wires. Maybe it's for the best. You don't even know what to do next. All these days you've been chasing away the idea that this is what you're going to see here. You've been holding out some hope. Now there's no hope. You sit on the ground and cry silently. You realize with terrifying clarity that there is no help coming for you. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Return to the station. Good night, everyone. Enter the house. Enter the house. Good night, everyone. Report day. What is it? The 5th? The 105th? How long have I been here? I want to go home, but I hardly remember what it is, my home. It's as if I've always been just the forest. Cannibalism. It's all you. I didn't want to. I didn't want to eat her. I didn't want to be like them, but you made me! And now I'm sick! You're reading this, aren't you? I know you're inside me, looking out of my eyes. You want to know what she tastes like. Something between a mushroom and a pear. I guess I'll be like that now, too. You're gonna make me eat myself, huh? Radio station. When I was a kid, I used to sit at the station and wait for my father to come. The radio was playing some kind of march. They used to love marches. It's all so far away. Behind the swamp, I found an empty shell of a building. And the helicopter would come to find my empty shell. I have nothing else to look for. No one to talk to. I feel like this place is getting ready for something and I don't have much time left. The main thing is not to get caught by all those monsters that prowl around. To last a day, just a day. Outside the door sits a small white doggy. At the sight of you it stops whinging and looks at you expectantly. It calls you out for a walk. Pet the dog. The dog bounces merrily. It remembers you and is glad you're still friends. Get out of the house. You're a good dog, aren't you? forest offers you a gift. I accept.
A dead, empty shell. A shell that has already served its purpose and is no longer needed, neither by you nor by the creature it came out of. I understand. Lead the way, buddy. You know what? This had a turn for the better. I have a new dog friend! Look at it! He's so cute! Let's walk, dog friend. He's down here, buddy. Lead the way. Oh, gift. Ah. Oh. Ouchie. Ooh, I'm dead. That's death. Now I am tree. Still have my axe. Damn, I got killed by the bear. I failed the doggy. I am sorry, doggy. <laughs> Day six. Did I make it? They'll take me away. This will all be over. No more goddamn forest except... What about it? I don't remember. I remember bits and pieces of my past, but it was as if the forest had always surrounded me. It grew into my memory. In the morning, the doggy came in. I know it's not real. It's alive, but it's not real. Fake, like all the others who came to me. But still, it was nice to have someone. That's my dog, Tuzik. I thought it was in the well, but it came out of the dead dog. It found me. It knew. I knew it wasn't dead then. That what was pulled out of the water wasn't it. And it's here with me now. Do you think I'm stupid? You think I don't see how long you've been keeping me here? Six days? No way. Years. How many was it? There's not much left of me now, but tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll be out of here. Tomorrow is finally the seventh day, and there's nothing more you can do to me. This is the last report. Don't send anyone else. The forest knows about us. 
it's watching it watches and learns something if you read or it learns something if you're reading this get out before it's too late this is it is this the end of the game you just came out of the house you've been there inside every night all this time but there's no house there you can't believe your eyes in fact you've already stopped believing anything perhaps what you see now is a mirage maybe you what you saw before was a mirage It came. It came to continue the cycles, but we don't need those cycles anymore. It has blossomed for nothing. She will no longer come to date. She isn't born this time. We are done with you. Who are you and why do you look like me? We are the result. People's voices brought curiosity and anxiety. They have sprouted in us and we've begun to care. We learned and tried to understand who we were, and then we finally were able to grow a mind. Not a copy, but something new. That's a good thing. After all, we learned about the Forest of Lights. We've learned that it's dangerous. It's good that our cycles of knowledge have ended. Now there will be others. I can't be taken away from here. Where's the helicopter? The helicopter hasn't been here since the voices of the people in our depths. The Forest of Lights no longer sends its offshoots to us. It doesn't know about us. We know of it. We know about ourselves. We can learn and create new things for the first time since the beginning of time. This is a good thing. Forest of Lights. We all repeat. What is it? Our forest gave birth to everything you see around you. The forest form the depths tells everything around to grow, what to eat, what to want. A separate voice makes no sense to us. The creatures of the forest sprouts of the same root. Humans are the sprouts of the forest lights. We need to grow and absorb, to absorb new voices. How wonderful it will be to absorb the forest of lights. It's bigger and stronger, but it doesn't know. How do I get out? I just want to go home. It's at home anyway. It will go back into the depths. We need to grow and lead others. We need to gently carry our gifts into the forest of lights. Goodbye and thank you. Your voice will sprout. Damn. I'm a mushroom man. We got the mushroom man ending. God damn it. Ignore that, that's just my controller battery. Okay. I'm gonna mute.
All right. I'm gonna check a few things here, but I think that's the end of the game. <sighs> um, trophies. Let's look for Rootin. Rootin, 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 Rootin. This is not an alphabetical order. I don't know what kind of order this is. Because this is obviously not play order. This is not alphabetical order. Not really any order. Um, and there's no organizing it either. Damn. Wow! Um, does this game just not have trophies? Um, no, it's got trophies. All right. Try again. Um, please view trophy info. There we go. Okay. Um, the cycle beat the bear and pacifist. All right. I almost got every single achievement. I don't know what the cycle is, but the only other two achievements I don't have is don't take the axe and kill the bear. So. I will actually look that up real quick though. Um. Rootin, uh, achievements. Rootin, PS4, achievements. Rootin' Achievements by True Achievements. Um... Nope. It appears that I am the only one who cares. Okay, this one. The cycle, what is it? This can be done mostly AFK by letting the days run out. You just need to submit your daily report and go through the dialogue that takes place. You'll get an alternate ending on day 7. Head to the helicopter drop off, plus doing nothing means you didn't pick up the axe and you get the pacifist. Is it really that easy?
All right. Fuck it. Now it's time for us to get the good ending by not interacting with anything at all. We're just gonna fucking not do anything. Hello. Cozy house. Empty house. Empty house. I didn't realize it, but character didn't originally have a beard. Alright. Dead dog, move away. Yuck. Disgusting. No one's here. Oh, oh. Look how sad he is. What a fucking beta. You know, I'm really glad I got the fucked up ending first. That was fun. Sheets of paper have been lying here. Write something. Hello. I don't know why and for who I am writing this, but hello. Cool. Um, I am gonna go ahead and go back. Enter the house. Enter the house. We want to miss a lot. We don't care. Um, right about the flight to the station. The helicopter flies to the station, should either be repaired or put in a landfill. It's already in such a state that it's dangerous to fly it, but flying isn't the most interesting thing today. Nobody's been here. There was a dead dog. The forest is weird. There were notes. Tomorrow, I will continue. I had a panic attack. Goodbye. Hello. I don't have salt. No. Wow, that's what you think of me, huh? It's morning, the birds are singing, and you're already telling me to give up. Actually, I don't know why I need salt, so now I won't even look for it. My name is Igor. I'm the local forester. Uh, nobody's missing. Okay. Am I a liar? Goodbye. I'm going to my place now. Okay. Fine. Day two. I don't want that axe. I don't have violent tendencies. I'm not a fucking psychopath. Everyone here is normal and fine. I'm just gonna hang out, and then I'm gonna go. This is a vacation.
Hello. Sheets of paper. Read it. Oh, hi. I'm glad someone wrote to me. It's been a little lonely here. Well, everything will change with greeting begins a friendship. I think you'll like it here. What's going on here? I didn't expect to get an answer. I stopped understanding what's going on. What's wrong with this place? Why does it do what it does? And why am I here? We are going to get the good ending. Hello there, you creepy fuck. Enter the house. Enter the house. We don't care! Nobody cares about this fucking forest. Alright? Problems with my foot. It hurts. Guest. He's cool. Time in the woods. I hate it. Time to get out. Goodbye. Hello. You're fucked. Haven't seen her. You don't know her? What's going on? I'll tell you if I find her. We'll look together. Goodbye. No. I am not taking the axe. I am better than that. It's cool the axe moved though. That's interesting. I don't I don't even remember that picnic table being there. Just like yesterday. Don't worry about the forest. The forest is our friend now. The forest is our home. But sometimes a girl gets bored here. I want to go. I want to go to the forest of lights. Will you take me there? Um. Can I leave the forest? I want to go home. I just want to go home. We could leave this place together. I'm looking for a way to do that. And I can't find it. Do you know how we can get out of the forest? Cool. Later. Enter the house. Enter the house. We are in the house. I am inside of the house. I can't remember how I got into this house again. I can't... I seem to remember nothing changes. It's getting harder and harder for me to understand what I am and what is the forest. It's changing me. Station workers. Guests come and go. Uh, time for the plans. I'll keep looking for the radio station. Hey, Stretch, I hate your face. What is the pack looking for? What's the cycle? You don't look human. Wrong, but the words don't matter. You will search. That's what your blood says. You've done it before, and you will continue. End the conversation.
Sorry, sweet one. I will not accept your gifts. You have received an answer. Today her handwriting is different. Read. My dear friend, today you and I will be able to see each other. Come to where the bushes used to be. Radio station. I know how we can get out. Well, at least we have to try. There's an old radio station somewhere in the swamp, but I don't know how to get there. Maybe we just have to wait. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait the full allotted time, but I am skipping the time by going in the house over and over. So I hope that's enough. A report. My hopes of getting out of here are fading. A woman in the thicket. I saw a woman like everyone else. No, I didn't. Must try again. A new day. A new day! It's a new day! There's a sheet of paper on the table. On it, you see a fresh inscription. It says, It was a pleasure to correspond with you, but everything comes to an end. My children are taking me home. They're in a hurry, but they let me say goodbye. So, goodbye. More away. They probably said move away, but I don't fucking care. I, you know what, I'm going to say it was spelled incorrectly, because a lot of this dialogue is a little bit weird and janky. Yep, I'm going back inside. Goodbye. The house is still very clean. Report, I'm sick. There's no longer any doubt. Everything is here is infected, and so am I. They'll cure me, won't they? I have to be cured at home. It's strange, but I hardly remember my home. Tomorrow. I have nothing else to look for. No one to talk to. I feel this place is getting ready for something. I don't have much time left. The main thing is not to get caught by all the monsters. To last a day. Just a day. Hello, puppy. Pet the dog. Get out of the house. And the house is still fine. Everything else is fucked, but my house is A-OK. -okay. We're going to run deep and then backtrack. Hello, dog. 
I will enter the house. Enter the house. Yes, sir. Did I make it? They'll take me away. This will all be over. No more goddamn forests except what but it. I don't remember. I remember bits and pieces of my past, but it was as if the forest had always surrounded me. It grew into my memory. Tonight is the last night. In the morning, the helicopter will come. Finish the report. Cool. So now we should get a new ending. Oh, you're new. Hi, I'm waiting for you. Listen, are you hungry? I had a little snack, but I'm still hungry. Shall we have a picnic? I know a little secluded place. I woke up there this morning. You might get your feet wet on the way, but the view's worth it. Uh, shall we go? Where's the helicopter? Helicopter? It hasn't come for a while, so you and I will think about it what to do if there is no helicopter. Wait. So you and I will think about what to do if there is no helicopter. And I think I have a couple ideas that you might like. I don't feel well. I think I got infected here. Oh, don't fishing for a compliment. Just look at you. You look great. Any girl would love you. Katie? I saw how they... Why are you here? I'm waiting here for you, silly. Let's go. It's nice there. You and I will be fine. Remember when, remember when we were talking about children? I said I didn't have time for them. Well, it's not like that for you, you know. I want three kids. Can you imagine how beautiful and strong they will be here in the forest? And someday they'll figure out how to get us into the forest of lights. Shall we go? Okay, let's go. Okay, this is new. Hi, I have work for you. We have a research station at a remote frontier. In a word, Katie is on duty there now. I mean, Katrin. She's a mycologist, and she found some new kind of mushrooms. Again. Could you fly and bring me a sample? They have not a very good lab there. Good. You need to relax. There is no connection and roads for a hundred miles there. Where? Why? Um. I will write... I've read all that before. Um... Did it just reset? Um, what? Wait, that ending makes no sense! That's just the intro! Like, I understand what they're trying to do, but they did it wrong! They literally just did the intro! But, like... What? Wait! What the fuck? And that's the true ending? That makes no sense! What is this? I am so confused. What the fuck? I don't understand.
Is that supposed to be like some sort of like super meta reveal? Is that supposed to be deep? Am I supposed to feel something? Trophy information. Yeah, I got the achievement. All I have to do now is kill the bear and I'd 100% this. I'm not gonna, but... There it is. That was a game, I guess. Um... What the fuck? I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean to me? Um... That's rootin'. That is Rootin. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cycle. Um, becoming a mushroom was way more interesting than surviving. Although, I don't think I did survive. I don't know. That's really weird. That's a really weird ending. I don't understand. That makes no sense to me. Um. And we still got 30 minutes, so I should probably play something else. Tell you what, we'll break for a bit. I'll come back in like five minutes and we'll see what we can do. I'll be back.